Everybody, you're tuned in to episode number 14 of the Game Audio Blog. I'm Adam. We're back again with the fourth episode in the Demo Week series. We've talked about recording your demo, editing your video, a couple of suggestions of how to make your demo better. And today, just to warn you, I might go on a rant. Uh, we're going to talk today about why a demo reel isn't enough and why that's even a subject of conversation today and why I believe very passionately that you need to go above and beyond the call in what you're doing. You need to stand out, you need to show your work, and you need to not be afraid to do it. And what am I talking about? I've got the bullet points here on the screen. I'll go through them one by one, but I might get off track. Again, this might be a long one, so if you don't want to hear me rant in your face about why just doing a demo reel isn't enough of it uh, isn't a, isn't enough for you to do you might want to tune back in at a later time but bullet point number one competition is stiff we are blessed in the game audio community with having a group of individuals who largely based online and then you you see each other in person and whatnot but a lot of the interaction goes on online and like there's not a single guy who sucks. There's not a single girl who sucks. There's nobody who I've ever talked to who does game audio who I wish they would shut their mouths and uh, either talk better or do their job better or, you know, just somebody who I wish would go away, right? Everybody's really great. But at the same time, that that doesn't mean that you need to forget about the fact that there's a bunch of other people competing with you to get either a a limited number of jobs or b at least a limited number of paying jobs uh there are only so many major game studios there are a good number of independent game studios now with plenty of work to go around for sure but when a job opening opens up for, like, let's say a AAA game studio, you've got a lot of people who are willing to put in a resume for that in a wide range of, uh, in a wide range of technical skill and just a background of creativity. People come into games from literally every walk of life, as far as I've seen, uh, from different artistic backgrounds, different creative backgrounds, from film and radio and all sorts of different other things. So you're competing against a whole range of people who you might not even have an idea about. So it's important that you do something that's a little bit different, that makes you look in a way that stands above everyone else. Number two, we exist, and I I feel very passionately about this, in a world of absolute information overload. I dare you right now to pick a day on your calendar and get off Facebook. Just Facebook. You can if you Twitter all day long, if you tweet or you Instagram or whatever, then you know, pick your social media of choice that you're addicted to, the one that you'd literally check every day. I know you do it, because uh, everybody does it. Pick a day and get off of it for a week. Literally cold turkey, uninstall the app from your phone, block the website from your phone, block the website from your uh, your desktop computer at home or your laptop or your work computer. No no social media, at least no major social media. If you want to take a small step into it, like block the one that you use the most often and don't use it for at least like five days. And then tell me how your life changes. Comment below. Tell me how your life changes. Find me on Twitter, Adam T. Croft, and tell me how your life changes. Because you're going to find that you have a lot more time than you used to have going to find that suddenly you can think a little bit clearer than you could have before you're going to miss a heck of a lot of stuff that goes on but at the same time you're just you're not going to be as tired because the amount of information your brain has to process is going to go ridiculously down 
I'm convinced that the day and age we live in, one of the most important jobs that you can do, that I don't know a lot of people who get paid for this, but uh, you have to cur curate content. Every day, you actually do this. You parse through your Twitter feed, your Facebook feed, your RSS, if you still use that, whatever, and decide what is important for me to look at and what is not important for me to look at. The concept in the audio world that's analogous is your signal-to-noise ratio, right? You want a pristine signal, and therefore you want the noise to be super low. Unfortunately, we exist in a world where it's so freaking easy to consume anything and everything that it's impossible to figure out what is the important thing to actually consume. And maybe 1% of what you look at on your phone or on your computer or on your TV per day is remotely important for you to look at. No, that's not a scientific figure, but as soon as you step back, you'll realize that the amount of mental effort that you put forth to ingest information is insane. So we've gone from a world where you have, you know, a good chunk of resumes from either people with similar backgrounds or maybe varied, but you know, it, it might have been a little bit harder to stand out if you only did a paper resume, right? So, but then the level of creativity that you needed to jump above that wasn't a whole lot. You needed to do a little bit of something extra to find a need that your employer or your client needs fixed and, and deal with it or talk to them. Just stand out in a, some small way. But today, I can have a YouTube channel. And I can post videos five days a week. And I can show you my progress from the very first day I start working on whatever project I'm working on until the day that you see my stuff and decide to hire me. I can have a history of videos, 10 minutes long, that you can watch every day to see my progression, know who I am, know exactly what I've done. And then you have a whole background on me that's not just a three-minute demo reel. You can host a podcast and talk for an hour and a half with a buddy of yours about audio and what's important and what's not and show off your prowess, talk about things, and people get to know you better than just a three-minute demo reel that shows off what you do. You can sit down and make games today and post them online on your website or other places where you can share independent games or even just basic demo. And you can have 10 games done all by yourself and have a portfolio of things that you may not have been paid for, but that's better than a three minute demo reel. It shows that you have initiative, that you went out and did something on your own. It shows that you're endlessly creative because if you go out and do a podcast or go out and do a video series or go out and make a ton of games on your own, that you had to have the creative ability to do all that. It shows that you have the ability to learn a lot because there's probably no way you're making the same game 10 times. And these are things that I know about you if you've done any of this before I've even played one of your games, right? If you get up and you speak about things, I know guys who do game audio who, who speak and do talks at conferences every single year, then it shows that you not only have the ability to do audio, you have the ability to speak about it, and you also have the ability to lead others, and lead others in a wide setting, that you can manage people perhaps, but at least you can stand in front of a group of people and tell them, look, this is the direction we're going on something, and I need you to follow me. And that's something that you don't get just sitting in a studio and working on audio, right? What if you want to lead a team one day of audio people or, you know, graphics people or whatever, but we're all, this is mostly about audio, right? So what if you want to lead a group of people to do something incredible, but you don't have any speaking skills, right? Or you do, but you, somebody needs to know about that. All of these things are what you would have deemed in younger years as like extracurricular activities, right? But now it's so vastly important for you to do something that's above and beyond the norm of just making a sample of yourself or putting out a resume. Just simply because of this stupid information overload because everybody else is putting something out that's incredible, right? 
You can look all around the internet and see things that are mind-blowing every day. And then you look at yourself and you go, oh man, I don't do anything. I really suck. Well, look, there's a way to get over that. And you are already doing it. If you started working in this industry, if you started doing anything that's remotely creative, if you put your fingers to a keyboard or your hands and pen to paper for an idea, you're being creative. So do that and take a freaking risk. Because when you start, it might not, and I guarantee it probably won't work out perfectly. These videos that I'm making aren't for the people who are watching them. They're for me. I'm doing it so that I can set up a schedule for myself to get work done, to get things done. Hopefully, you guys will learn something. And I, among the million stupid things that I'll say, among the million things that I'll throw out there that I've learned, maybe you'll learn something. That'll be great. But in the meantime, I don't know anybody who does game audio or who does audio, quite frankly, who puts out a video every single workday. And it's a test to myself to get that done, to actually put something out and to, to hopefully within all of these videos, put something out of substance. Um, in the middle of that, I hope to put out more of my work and showcase those things. I hope to talk. And so that over time, as I get used to this, you get to see who I am and get to know who I am, right? So I didn't start a blog because I've started those before. I've tried to write before and I suck at writing. I'm not any good at writing be honest. Uh, if I push myself really hard, I can. And if I template it out, then I can do it. But it's not fun to me. I don't really love writing. I don't. Maybe I'll get into the act of you know, fiction one day or something because I like creating worlds, but I just can't bring myself to, to, to be a, any sort of writer. Um, it just doesn't come naturally to me. I have to force it. But I was on radio for a number of years, so I can sit and talk in front of a microphone all day, and I can talk your head off, and you may or may not listen to this. It'd probably be a better podcast, to be quite honest, but I didn't want to do a podcast. Everybody does a podcast, but not a lot of people do YouTube videos. Not a, a lot of people do vlogs, and so I figured out how to video edit in a way that made sense to me. I figured out a way to template an intro and an outro in a way that made sense to me, and I thought about and figured out a way to get in front of quote unquote the camera screen record and record myself and do something in a way that was hopefully interesting you can sit here and i you know i'm not flipping slides at this point right now so you're probably if you're watching this far at all uh hopefully you're not just sitting staring at the screen i've only got one more slide just to let you know so if you got something else to do turn the volume up go listen to me somewhere else but uh to me, starting these videos was a risk because it took my time and I'm not guaranteed that any of you are going to watch these things at all. And if you're watching this far, you're probably one person and I really appreciate you. Uh, but you've got to do something. Go think about what's your thing that you do. Do you write? Do you record? What is the thing that will put you out above the crowd that you can just share? You don't even have to do anything that like is a YouTube video or a podcast or any of these things that everybody always does. Just put out something. If you love designing sound effects and you have 50 million sound effects that come out of things or music, background music that comes out of things that you create for other games, save that stuff and then trickle it out online. Give it to people. Give it away. Just give it away. Don't even bother charging for it. Just give it away until people know who you are. And when people know who you are, maybe you can start charging for it. And when, then when you do, charge for it like you mean it, right? Don't just give it away half-assed. Um, but do it. Don't be afraid of it. And keep doing it. When it looks like it's going to fail and it sucks and nobody's paying attention to you, keep doing it. Because six months down the road, even maybe a month down the road, people might start caring. And if you do it for a year... Somebody's going to care. Someone is going to care. Or they're going to at least look back on you and go, man, that dude did videos for a year. That girl put out sound effects for a year. I don't like any of them, but that person's dedicated, right? All of these things that you do teach something to you about yourself and about the, the good work that you do and the capabilities that you have. And then they teach something to everyone else about who you are and that is so much more invaluable than three minutes of sound effects 
output to a video. That's it. I don't think I could say anything more than that. So that's the question I leave you with. What are you waiting for? Happy Christmas Eve. I hope this is good for you. I hope more than two of you have watched this far. Uh, I'm really passionate about this. If you ever want to talk to me about it, really, seriously, hit me up on Twitter. Adam T. Croft, at Adam T. Croft. Or comment below on the YouTube channel, and I will totally respond to you. Because I feel very strongly about people making and sharing their creativity in a way that changes their lives, not just the lives of other people. I think that we live in a day where consumerism is rampant and everybody's guilty of it. And uh, there's not enough people who put things out. Um, there's not enough people who, who decide what's important and tune out everything else and then make something that becomes something. And I, I want everybody in the world to do that. Um, that means that's super important to me. So, yeah, I hope that you uh, have a great day. And I'm going to leave it at that. Stop talking now. Have a good day.